I know, I know, I'm a couple weeks late. But before you start busting out the chanclas, just thought I'd let you know right now. Has this game earned your 60 bucks? Has my thoughts changed since the beta? Make sure you subscribe. It'll help the channel a lot. Hit the like button. Hit the bell for future uploads. And show all the love and support to Grey Matter Games where I cover everything gaming. From leaks, trailer breakdowns, to honest opinions like these, and much more. Let's get right into whether or not Street Fighter 6 deserves your money. And is the future bright for Capcom in regards to the fighting franchise, right? It's a no-brainer. Street Fighter 5 wasn't the greatest received game in the franchise, right? It, it came out with mixed bags. As someone who's played most of the Street Fighter games, because that's what I grew up with, I've said it many times. Street Fighter 3 will always be my favorite game. Street Fighter 4 is pretty good. 5, I skipped it. I played a little bit. It just wasn't my cup of tea. But now going into SF6... I feel that this is a love letter. A love letter for Capcom as a whole, from Final Fight to Street Fighter. Now, let me explain, right? Battlegrounds, which is their newest, or no, not Battleground, that's practically multiplayer. World Tour is their newest mode and where you create a character, an avatar, and that character gets to explore the world of Capcom and you get to stumble across other fighters from the franchise. From Ryu, Ken, Chun-Li, everybody that's on the roster is there. Or at least mostly, right? And you get to conversate with them. You get to bond with them. Kind of like a master to student relationship. And you get to pick up their signature moves. And you add it into your arsenal so that you can later on take your avatar to Battle Hub. And you can challenge other people's avatar. That's all fine and neat, and I think that's one of those game modes that's perfectly designed for casuals or people who've never touched fighting games. It's a no thought head empty brain shutdown kind of a mode. Another benefit of Battleground and why I say it's a love letter is because most importantly, you're roaming around beating up goons. <laughs> one of the biggest, um, you know, noticeable signs of a classic is when you're in the subway and you're transporting within the subway. It almost feels like Final uh, final Fight because it kind of does take the elements of it and where it's a side scroller and you're beating up the goons and uh, yeah, that's basically an homage. When you go into Battle Hub, which is the overall multiplayer, it's a lobby and where everyone gets together, you jump in an arcade and you 1v1 each other and you can spectate each other and stuff like that. But there's also homages to old games because they have old arcade cabinets in the far back with said game of final fight we have stores where you can buy clothes for your avatar and emotes and stuff and you get to see some real wacky and creative uh avatar creations uh but overall it's a fun time you get to meet some new character uh, some new players and you get to form you know friendships for say battlegrounds is where you get to play your little typical arcade story to the corresponding characters you get to play a quick match a rank lobby you get to play against the npc you get to 1v1 with your friends you get to go to practice mode try out the combos and try out the which character suits you and whatnot so this game overall caters every angle but most importantly the control scheme you got classic modern and then you got the um the blue one i forgot what it was called but it's like even more simplistic they have three varieties and it's to basically make sure no one's alienated with this franchise enough with that what are my opinions on the core gameplay right you're gonna see a lot of ken uh in my channel i just i just love the character his crazy kicks they set up so many combos it's it's great uh they've ton they've took in characters that were very simple, like Ryu, and they've refined them and added some new combos to the character. Nothing too complex, something that keeps them easy to learn, easy to master, but also fresh. I also appreciate uh, some of the new characters like Manon, who I have not mastered. I suck using the character, but I do like the implementation of, you know, judo throw equals double strength if you accumulate a certain amount of grabs. Um, I also like, <laughs> it's 
a no-brainer. I like Yuri Chun Li looking great. I mean, plays great. Some of the new characters like JP. I don't know how I feel, right? It, I feel he's balanced, but I also feel he's a little too overpowered. But I mean, hey, we'll see. There's plenty of characters to look around and master. Don't get me wrong. Pay attention to my YouTube shorts. I'm going to make sure I upload my thoughts on those characters as the life cycle of this game goes on. But the core mechanic of the game is still Street Fighter, no matter how you slice it. But this game, again, it's a love letter because you have the focus attack from Street Fighter 4. You have the, 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 the mechanic to Street Fighter 5. You also have some of the parry system, or not some, the parry system of Street Fighter 3, which is phenomenal. And then you have what we now know is the drive gauge, right? Drive in this game dictates everything. It is what allows you to close the distance. It is what allows you to get the parry. It is what allows you to enhance a Hadouken or Chun-Li's kicks. Uh, it is literally your bread and butter and everything. You need to learn to manage this gauge because you can find yourself running out of this drive very easily and it puts you in a big disadvantage. Um, it's something that I struggled early, but I've gotten to slowly get used to. So I definitely appreciate this new mechanic. Um, <laughs> I think this game is... is the perfect successor to Street Fighter 3, and that's just my opinion. Um, is it the greatest fighting game ever? As much as I think Street Fighter 3 is, there's no such thing as the greatest game, right? There's always room for improvements. But overall, is this game worth your $60? I believe so. I really do. Um, I feel I feel that if you're someone who's never touched games like Street Fighter, Tekken, Mortal Kombat, anything like that, then I think this is the game to start off in. But hey, at the same time, look what where we're at. You know, we got MK1 coming around anytime soon, and then we got Tekken 8 with I theorize. I theorize it's going to be a shadow drop, but whatever. Either way, it seems like it's going to be a good year to be a gamer, especially for the fighting franchise. I'm looking forward to the post-launch content. You know, it seems like we're going to have a good amount of roster of a character. I'm really looking forward to Akuma just because his design looks very sick. I mean, he always does, but just that white hair that we saw earlier um, looks pretty sick. Overall, I think the game is great. I, I'm in a loss for words for how well Capcom handled this. Is it worth your money? Yes. Is it better than I thought it was? Yes. Go check it out right now. And that's all I have for you all today. It's your boy Gene from Grey Matter Games and I'm out.